Good morning, folks. We'll hit news stories from some top universities today, see some science follies, and introduce seven very sharp Italian cosmologists. Let's start with our star, spaceweathernews.com. We find the coronal holes trying to dip away from their polar zones. They do tend to become huge and polar focused during sunspot minimum, and then they descend in reverse as the sunspots appear and do so into sunspot maximum, which has not happened yet, and otherwise there is not much to report in geospace. Solar wind calmed a touch from already quiet marks, leaving Earth's magnetic field quiet as well. Let's begin the science with stories of a fail. Folks, after models said how hosed we were for years regarding climate change and nutrient availability on Earth, most of those have vanished since actual observations have showed increased number and size of krill, phytoplankton, and chlorophyll in the ocean. Again here, models are scary not the real observations. Speaking of that, Harvard is picking apart the observations of sea surface temperatures over time, making corrections and adjustments and identifying numerous problems with the history of measuring the ocean. By the way, it will be years before their corrections make it into any official climate reports. This is the only global June map you will see online. Percentiles making it look excruciatingly hot, right? Almost no blue. Well, down at the scale, see how they aren't numbers, but they're qualitative. That means that if the temps are slightly below average, they can get erased as white here. Meanwhile, when we actually get that more detailed chart, we get the zero marker. Look at all the blue that appears. Details matter, just as Harvard mentioned as they wag their finger at the ocean data. Up next, the ISS has been studying lightning and terrestrial gamma flashes, Earth flares. Here are the conclusions they have so far. Small glow begins as an electric field is generated within the thundercloud. These trigger in-cloud cascades, leading to the gamma burst, and finally, the lightning sends electric current zipping across one of the charged pathways. They say there must be a strong electric field at the tip of the conductive channel to make that gamma flash. Fun science there. We're going to Cambridge next, looking at crystals and volcanoes. The article is linked below, like all our stories every day, but of note here, is the concept that a volcano putting one in the chamber leaves clues, not the least of which is extra CO2 release. The crystals help determine the waiting time to eruption as well. Want to give props to two researchers from Western Washington University here. Seeking out the formation history, motion over time, and overall relation to current observed positions, they decided to make it easy and fun for everyone to explore what they've explored. They have interactives and models linked within that paper, and they do an interesting job spelling out the timelines and chaotic picture of an ocean of plasma and star formation and migration. This last one here is their heliocentric model where we don't remove ourselves to look from the outside but instead take our own perspective more or less. Last but not least, folks, these seven Italian cosmologists have guts, are clever, are sharp, and regarding their conclusion to appear in astronomy and astrophysics letters, they are 100% correct. This is now a confirmation of the two to four sigma tensions with the lambda cold dark matter model, and moreover, they say these tensions are now unquestionably not errors in data or interpretation, instead undeniably indications for the need of new physics. Of course, the physics we espouse isn't really new. What the national labs are currently doing with their plasma universe display is a reiteration of what Dr. Peratt did at Los Alamos in secret decades ago. This is the core premise of the first of our three infomentaries coming out next month in August. Plasma cosmology will come out first, and that's those new physics the seven Italians described. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.